Hello and welcome to our Christmas vlog. It's the first time ever we spent Christmas in a caravan. We didn't go away for Christmas this year. So this is a really good chance to show you what we do at Christmas, how we melt Polish and English Christmas traditions, what we eat, how we chill and generally if you are thinking about spending your Christmas in a caravan or maybe you do already, let me know in the comments, you could you could see how we manage. So we are really looking forward to this. It's going to be a very little Merry Christmas and very quiet, just three of us, me, Marek and Diesel. So if it sounds like your cup of tea, join me. Join me for the Christmas prep and Christmas celebration. Give me thumbs up and let's see how we manage our Christmas while living full time in a caravan. So in Poland the biggest event really is Christmas Eve and for Christmas Eve I'm preparing some vegetarian dishes because traditionally the Christmas Eve dinner is vegetarian. So I'm going to cook pierogi which is a bit like ravioli and I'm going to use dried mushrooms and not some mushrooms you buy in a supermarket but real wild dried mushrooms from Poland. These were probably picked by my brother and his family in Poland so this is a really precious gift I have here. So I'm going to mix um, dried mushrooms, cook, cook, cook it and mix it with cooked cabbage. This is actually sauerkraut. So think fermented food and kimchi and kombucha. This is that kind of stuff which is really healthy and really delicious. Very sour, very good for your gut. Cheers. And it stinks but it's really nice. It's really healthy and tasty if you've grown up with it, of course. Another traditional dish eaten at Christmas Eve is split peas with kapusta, with sauerkraut, which gives you amazing power, wind power, you know, for breaking wind. Maybe people people cook it, you know, together to ease digestion. However, this, this seems pretty heavy. Anyway, this is a traditional dish. I may cook it or not because we already have so much food. I'm not sure we will manage to eat what we have. So for pierogi, we'll eat pierogi with beetroot soup. So I'm co cooking beetroot soup from scratch, barsht. Uh, and of course, Christmas Eve is all about eating fish. This is the only fresh fish I could get in a supermarket here in Ilfrakom, which is salmon. So in Poland, it would be carp. But unless we catch a carp in the lake in Mill Park, <laughs> we are not going to get any carp here. So traditionally, people in Poland buy, they used to buy a fresh carp when I was a kid. I think now it's been banned for the sustainability and, you know, protection of the carp and not tormenting poor fish. But in the old days, people used to buy a carp which was still alive and keep it in a bathtub for a few days before Christmas Eve. It almost became a family pet and very often uh, the family got so attached to the fish that they would release it before Christmas because they didn't have a car to kill it. So this is a little bit of Polish folklore for you. So fish is very popular on Christmas Eve and this is a herring salad I made with my parents. I took just a little bit. So this is herring in tomato sauce. Amazing. I will show it to you when we have it on the table tomorrow. And I think I had to be a very good girl this year because I got from my dad homemade, home smoked ham. This is a joint of ham, real ham, amazing. Smoked on wood from Mill Park actually. So I had to be really good to, to get this for Christmas. And my mom made those biscuits. These are traditional biscuits for Christmas. So some of you may be asking, if you have your parents in the UK, if they live in the UK, why on earth are you spending Christmas in a caravan? Well, we like quiet Christmas. We love it when there are only three of us and the doggy is a big part of and a big reason why we prefer a quieter Christmas. And everyone likes to be home for Christmas. This caravan is our home. So that's where we are going to spend Christmas. And I know that people in the UK get really excited about roast turkey and pigs in blankets and uh, veggies. But 
it's nothing comparing with traditional Christmas in Poland. For Christmas Eve itself, we prepared 12 different dishes. Yeah, 12 different dishes. We are not going to have 12 dishes because there are only two of us eating, but I'm going to prepare a few of those most traditional ones. And if you are interested in those tastes and would like to follow recipes, I will leave you some links in the description if you are keen to try something new. Uh, and you know, I have to get going now because I have so much prep to do, so much food to prepare that I'm turning off the camera and I will see you tomorrow uh, at the table. You will see what I cooked. Hello and welcome to our Christmas Eve lunch. We are almost ready. So what we have, what I cooked, look, the dumplings are ready and waiting for barsht, homemade in a caravan. So this is Marek's portion for, and the rest for me because I love them. So this is the stuff with cabbage and sauerkraut. This is a herring salad portion for one. We also have some salad here. Uh, barsht is here in the kitchen. It is amazing. So we'll have it with dumplings and fish is in the oven because we like our fish with cheese. Marek is getting changed. So we will start our uh, very modest, humble Christmas Eve lunch in a minute. Diesel had his food, he's already chilling. And this is what we are going to do once we have eaten. We are going to do the same, just chill and relax. So here is the second course, salmon with cheese and potato wedges. These are not traditional dishes. So if you ever wondered what does Christmas Eve supper look for two, these are portions just for two people. The sun is out, we are on a campsite and we are celebrating our first Christmas ever in a caravan. The weather is gorgeous, so we can't wait to take our diesel for a walk after we've eaten so life is good we are ready to tuck in merry christmas guys and i hope all your wishes come true thank you very much for watching us thank you for spending this time with us please remember to leave thumbs up and say hi in the comments we are eager to meet you so i hope you have as lovely christmas as we do we like quiet christmas and uh, we are very happy to be here in our home on wheels in our caravan you know we are grateful that we have each other we have food on the table and we live in peace so you can't take anything for granted in this life we are really enjoying this lovely quiet peaceful christmas and i hope there will be many for everyone to come and i hope that everyone will find peace today and if you have food on your table and you have someone to share this time with be grateful and don't take it for granted, ever. Merry Christmas! <laughs> Time for a walkie with Diesel. The weather is absolutely amazing. It's a bit different than winter on continent and Christmas in Poland and I just feel so lucky we have a dog Marek is chilling after lunch uh, I'm taking Diesel out and it's such a good idea to have a dog not only for Christmas but especially at Christmas you know if it wasn't for him he would be stuck indoors overeating for all those days at least that way we have to get out and about and enjoy the sun That was a really nice walk after a big meal and the weather has been fantastic. We didn't get wet. And I wonder, have you ever spent Christmas in a caravan just like us? Or what has stopped you so far? What stops you? If you have a caravan, why don't you spend Christmas in a caravan on a nice campsite? Or maybe you do already. Let me know in the comments. Also, let me know if you would like to go away for Christmas or Christmas means staying home let me know anyway we are getting back in 
So it's time for dessert, definitely. And then we'll just chill in the caravan. So that will be it. That will be our Christmas Eve, which for us is the main Christmas event. It's getting dark, so it's time to switch our Christmas lights on and enjoy the dessert. We've been making this for a few days. A bit of Baileys for those who like it. This year it's orange uh, truffle. Let me know if you stick to the classic or you try the new flavor. Or maybe it's not new, it's new to us. Lovely. It took us many hours to prepare this dessert. <laughs> no Christmas pudding for us. Let me know if you like Christmas pudding. We like uh, rolls and this is just perfect. This is one of the biggest beauties of living in a caravan. From the dining room to the bedroom, you literally have two steps. We spent quite a lot of time behind the table today, probably like most of you. And now to the best bit. When we were upgrading our caravan, I said to Marek that I really want an island bed and it's my non-negotiable. And I thought that this was the best bit that could happen in our bedroom, having an island bed, having actually a regular double island bed with a real mattress. You can't beat that, I thought. And then Marek actually managed to beat that. He bought a TV. <laughs> he bought a TV and installed it on a bracket. Uh, so we have a lovely TV in the bedroom and we do enjoy and we do binge watch stuff on Netflix. Uh, so if you have something you can recommend, drop us a comment. Uh, we watch Stranger Things, we watch The Dark, we watch The Rain and a few other series. Probably we watched uh, we watched and enjoyed Stranger Things the most. I lost the plot uh, with the dark. I thought that I'm a reasonably intelligent person, but I lost the plot with the dark, but I still enjoyed watching it. So now, the best bit, and the evening, you know, watching something on Netflix, uh, wrapping up under blankets. I will call Diesel, I will call Marek, and we are sorted for our little cinema in the caravan. We hope Good boy, good boy, sit, sit, good boy. So given the circumstances, given what's right for all of us, what works for all of us, this was probably the best Christmas we could get this year. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed your Christmas. Let me know what you've been up to. Let me know if you were in a caravan too, like us. Are we the only ones spending Christmas in a caravan or in a motorhome? Let me know. Thank you very much for watching. And please subscribe if you haven't done it yet, but you enjoyed watching this video, you would like to know more about our everyday life on a campsite and what it's like to live and work on a caravan inside, please subscribe and you will know all about that. Subscription is free, it doesn't cost you anything, it just costs you a little bit of time to do it. And I will be much obliged and so will be Marek and Diesel. So thank you very much and see you in the next video. Bye bye! Me and Marek will just squeeze on the sides, as usual.